Hello artists, today we're going to use geometric shapes to help us with our drawings. Geometric shapes are shapes that are made out of points and lines. They have nice precise sharp edges. They could be a square or a rectangle, maybe a circle or a triangle, even a hexagon. There's lots of other ones too, but let's leave it at that for now. Now, artists have been using these shapes to create art for centuries. Some of it's abstract, some of it's more realistic. But let's look at the work of several artists before we start our own work. Mondrian created abstract art. He just used squares and rectangles and primary colors to create these bold canvases. Vasily Kandinsky pretty much invented abstract art using every geometric shape possible. And then Paul Klee used circles and squares to create this funny looking head. Now another artist whose name is Dao Hai Fung is from Vietnam. And while his work is a little more realistic, it still uses those same shapes. Can you see them? I bet you can if you look hard enough. Look at those trees. Those trees are circular. And the houses are just made out of rectangles and squares and triangles. So you can draw realistic things or abstract things. Now let's see how many shapes we can find in this house. There's a triangle and a rectangle, a square, another rectangle, and a couple circles. Okay, it's our turn to put those shapes together and let's make a drawing. So I'm going to start by drawing a square. Now I'm using a marker because it shows up better in the video, but if I were you, I might use a pencil. I might even use a ruler to make my lines more straight, but let's just keep going. So I made a house, but now I'm going to make it a fancier house by adding another square next to it and then a parallel line along the top and we have created a parallelogram. And you can use rectangles and squares to add windows and doors to your work. You could use little rectangles to make bricks. You could use a rectangle for a chimney on top of the house. I'm going to put mine in a field so I drew a horizon line. That's where the earth and sky look like they meet. I think that this yard needs a couple of trees so I'm going to use a really skinny rectangle. Again, you could use a ruler to make these lines more straight if you wanted to and a circle for the top of my tree. Now these trees aren't particularly realistic, but they're certainly recognizable as trees. They're very stylized. All right, once you've finished your drawing, you can color it. Look, I even added a moon. There's another geometric shape. You know what? Chicks are really just geometric shapes too. One big circle, one smaller circle, and a triangle. All right, do you wanna to try to draw one? Let's go. So I start with a big circle. And then I add a smaller circle for its head and a triangle for its beak. Give it some little spindly legs. And one thing I forgot to do here was add um, wings, but I did add them towards the end. Now my little chick looks lonely, so I'm going to give it a little friend. Two circles, although that one looks a little more oval, but that's okay. And a triangle and an eye. Once you're done with your drawing, again, you can color it and add all kinds of different uh, things in the background if you'd like. I didn't have time to do that, so I just colored mine. Now let's look at some other shapes and see what we can make. A circle and a triangle? Well, you can make an ice cream cone. I bet you won't guess what you can make out of these shapes. Are you ready? An elephant. All right, time for one last one. All these shapes together, they make a tiger. All right, get to work. Get out your pencils, get out your crayons, and start drawing. See what you can make out of all of those cool geometric shapes.